This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. This is day five update of the graphene project. Uh, I know it's been a couple weeks, but I'm actually only counting the days that I'm able to work on this, so there'll be big gaps here. But I wanted to show you the condenser works. I don't smell any acetone in the room. Uh, I did smell it a little bit when I lifted this up uh, because I had a, a vapor lock right here. But basically what's happening is the acetone is vaporized. It runs into the condenser. The condenser is condensing it back into acetone. So I can just add the acetone back into the mix and run it again. Because obviously we need to run this multiple hours. And instead of losing my acetone and smelling up the room with the acetone, this is collecting the acetone so it can be added back. So, uh, the Neat Pete had mentioned that he uses uh, a soap, liquid soap, to make the process better. My first run wasn't, there wasn't very much graphene. I wasn't happy with it. This time I added uh, some liquid soap to see if I can up my yield here. And this was an experimental batch. So what I did here is I, I've actually got 120 grams of graph, graphite in that container. So I basically tripled the graphite in it. And you can see it falling in there. Uh, the nice thing here is that uh, the temperature of this is about 135 degrees and that, now I ran that for a complete hour um, so it doesn't seem to get much higher than that um, the condenser is about 55 degrees the exterior of it is and the acetone is about 71 degrees so um, this system seems to work. If we're going to build a closed loop system that's going to make uh, graphene continuously, then I need a way to do this. So I'm recovering the acetone, using the acetone, the cooled acetone to add back to the blend to bring the temperature down as well. So this is kind of a dual purpose setup here. This is just a, a temporary rig I set up to test how well the condenser would work. So this is just a piece of aluminum tube off of an old air conditioner wrapped around and put in a plastic container. I used a, um, a heat, uh, an old soldering gun, and I melted a hole in it, stuck the tube down through the hole, and then used silicone rubber and sealed up the hole around it so I wouldn't get this liquid in that container. And then I used... Uh, my same tube here flute to exit the the blender and run it into the condenser so this is a little long but I want to be able to take that off and set it down and not knock that thing over when I do it so I left it a little bit long I didn't want it vibrating right next to the the blender so everything seems to be working this way I don't know what my yield's going to be yet. This is just the first run of this concept. So I'll let you know when that run is complete. And I'm, I'm actually going to cook this one off and go through the process. And if the yield's good, I'll post what, it, what my yield is. Uh, I wanted to show you this is that base plate. And if you look at it, the acetone has completely eaten this up. This is the dragging, the bearing is now seizing. This is without the soap, and my yield was so low, I wasn't happy with it. So uh, I, was, I had two of these. Uh, I found another one, and uh, this time what I did is I put silicone rubber on the, the seal so it wouldn't leak, and I also put it on this to keep it, I coated it with a thin coat of silicone rubber hoping that it doesn't destroy this. Um, I have other blenders, but I'm going to use this one until it fails. I want to know how useful it is and how durable it's going to be in the long run. So, um, But 
PVC and acetone don't really work too well together. You can see it's it's destroyed this. This one is not leaked at all because I sealed it. So this should be good for a while. Final goal in this is to be able to make supercapacitors for the motors and the generators that I'm building. So I think that's about it. Keep posting updates as I get information that's useful to everybody. This seems to work. So if you can imagine this being scaled up, um, you could do it where it, it wouldn't need to be vented, basically.